look at some film. We're going to look at the good from VR at second base, the bad from VR at second base, the good at shortstop, and then the bad at uh, center field. Ooh, oh, you really did grab your glasses. Shit, man. Um, yeah, my eyes so, are hurting. <laughs> oh, nice. I didn't know you wore glasses, but all right. So let's start uh, with blue the, light. Or you, oh, right, right. So you can see the screen right now, right? Mm. Yeah. All right. Let's start with the good plays. So these are as good plays at second base. So also, uh, all this comes from MLB Film Room. Um, great site, actually. It's just annoying that you can't download the videos. You have to, um, you know, make full screen. You have to so screen. You have to. I make them on my computer, and then I have to screen record it on screen my phone. But anyways, all right. He's playing in. Pretty decent hit ball. I mean, not a great play, but I mean, good reactions. You know, next play. Mm-hmm. And Ben, you're gonna help me with some of the technical stuff because you know you're the you're the baseball player here. So, play to his left, diving catch. Right. I mean, that decent range right here. I mean, Oof. diving catch. And then, I like this too. He gets he doesn't get cute with it. He says, "Looks can't turn two. I'll just take the one. I'll take the shirt. You know, the shirt out right here. Decent throw. Uh, good pick by Shaw. I mean, he he doesn't spike the ball. You know, panic spike the ball in the dirt." He knows he does, you know, he's on the ground. He can't get it over to him, so he gives him a good hop. So that's a good play. And I'm excited to get yeah. to the bad. We're, we're just flying through the good stuff because good stuff's boring. But uh, next play against <laughs> nice catch right here and turns two. Oh, wow. He goes for the two. All right. Yep. Dang, he's was... safe right here. He, he, he unfortunately, didn't Bichette could. He didn't even look. Him. He just went right for it. That's what I, I mean, noticed. Um. I don't think he felt too. I think he felt really confident about that. So he definitely knew how hard the ball was hit, uh, which I mean would make sense. But um, whereas the first play, as you said, he did check the runner going to second. This one, he just went right for it. At least that's what I see. I mean, actually, from that angle, it didn't I really mean, look like he, it. It kind of lagging a bit for me. Yeah. Oh, I'm just. Cl- I'm just doing. I'm just dragging it through to get like the slow mo. But I mean. Decent range right here, if you uh, can see. And also, apologies to anyone listening on podcast apps. Uh, skip ahead a bit when we're done with the film. <laughs> uh, so, Clint Frazier. So, were you on the mound? You're obviously going to get Frazier. ground balls. And I like, you know, when we get to the bad stuff, oh, he's wait. not a very accurate I didn't thrower. like that. He's not a very accurate thrower, but, I mean, he leads the shortstop to the bag, which is nice. I, you know... For me, the thing with VR is that he tries to be so flashy. He, he tries to be Hoppy Baez, basically, but isn't that you know caliber of fielder to be all flashy? So, I mean, you didn't really have to do the backhand you know, toss. I mean, it worked, but most of the time that doesn't end well. And then, you know, good throw to first. I want to talk about the uh, how he fielded the ground ball itself because it didn't – Go for it. I don't know. Something about it just didn't seem too natural. I mean, yeah, like, he stretched the way over. I don't know if the way he was standing or. I mean, you oh, had time Oh, I thought to he really was just get... standing still and then, like, fielded it to his left. I mean, I, you could get on really, you know, behind the ball, which, you know, less room for error there. But, you know, he made the play, so it's not, you know, too big of a deal. Mm-hmm. First, the Nationals card to keep him up at the plate. That, this is nice. This is cool. I mean, if you can do this, then you have the right. Like, glitching. But, oh, that's because I'm I'm pausing it and cause I'm I'm dragging it in slow mo stuff like that. But uh, hopefully you can the viewers can see well. But I that nice glove flip right here <laughs> first. So that's the good from uh, from Jonathan VR. VR. Let's get to let's get to the bad because there's a lot of it. So let's do the bad with him at second base, um, and. This first one, I remember when it happened. Obviously, it's against the Mets, so I'm happy that it happened. But, um, huh. all right, so Dom Smith at the plate, runner on second, runner on third. His instincts here and his IQ are just idiotic. So, right here, if you watch him and there's a more zoomed in view, his eyes are glued at home trying to hold the runner, which is good. But then he bobbles the ball because he doesn't, he doesn't look while he's fielding. And then... So, you know, runner on third, I don't know, you know, there's not an angle to, to show if he's going on contact, but now he could have saved a run. Nope. Made a mistake. 
could have had two outs. Nope, only one out. I mean, that just must be infuriating. You could have prevented a run, even if you, you know, a run happened. Oh, the runner was definitely out. running on contact then. I mean, yes, uh, yeah, because the because if he if he had bobbled it. No, if he hadn't bobbled it, he still would have been running. That's why he was one so glued to the plate, and two, like the runner would, he wouldn't, he would have thrown home if the runner had seen the bobble and then decided to run because then he would have stopped himself, then had to start himself all up again, so you wouldn't have that initial sprint. So that would take off a good two. No, that would take off a good five sixty, and then VR yeah. would know to throw home. He automatically knew to throw to first. So that, yeah, he was definitely running on contact there. Definitely could have turned two. Um, He's so focused on running that, look, he doesn't look at his eyes. He doesn't even pay attention to fielding the ball. He's trying to hold the runner. He's trying to do too much, which is kind of what I got. No, that's just him staring at the runner, trying to judge, like, to whether or not he can get him out of the plate. Exactly. Because he's way past third. First and foremost, get clean the ball, uh, field the ball cleanly. All right, uh, next one right here. Oh, of course. Uh, now, now, now he's on the Blue Jays. Got traded midseason, Dickerson, and then just absolutely just throws him right off the bat. He's some of the tape oh. I watched on him super inaccurate. I mean, I mean he turns the ball nicely. You know, he turns two pretty nicely here, but I mean, look at where the ball is at. He just throws him right off. He, you were supposed to get two outs. Now you get zero because he was pulled them right off the back. That's just when you're a fan, you just want to break your TV. Next play. All right. We're going to, we're going to need mm-hmm. like a field view right here. You could see where the runner was. I mean, if you could see where the runner is right here, by the time he threw it, you don't have to rush it. You can make a good throw. You know, you got room to make a good throw, but mm-hmm. I mean, just throw it right off the bag. I mean, that's just infuriating. Any comments on this? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so I do see from that play he did set his feet beforehand. I thought he was kind of throwing on the run, like turning and spinning, throwing. Um, oh my god! Oh, it was just a routine throw. Oh, come yeah. on! I mean, look, he has good base right here, but right off the bat, yeah, he does have a good he does have a good base, but he's like, I he's definitely simplifying it, trying to look too smooth there. Because you see, exactly. uh, he's, he's one, he's not even facing the base in terms of his base isn't facing the base. Um, oh, I see two, that he like sidearms it. I don't know why he sidearmed that. I mean, other than to be flashy, <laughs> you don't need to do that. Exactly. Because that, <laughs> that's what that's typically happens. I, I've made he's that exact same mistake trying, in sidearming. Trying to be flashy. It's ridiculous. All right, this is against your Yankees. Yep. I don't know if you remember this too much. Um, just bottles it. And then watch his eyes right here. Checks out the runner. I mean, just feel the freaking ball, and then oh, you you're not getting them. The I know you have better shot at getting them if you're not just like oh oh feel oh let's see where I'm at. I mean, just worry about <laughs> fielding the damn ball, then worry about where the runner's at. And I guess he's yeah. pretty Estrada's pretty fast. I'm guessing, mm-hmm. but. I mean, first of all, bobbling yeah. the ball, we didn't even talk about that. It's just, I mean, this is pretty routine. I'm mean, sorry, let me rewind. I mean, not a... Oh, yeah, that's very so routine. Kind of just knocks it down. I mean, it, he, he doesn't squeeze his glove enough, I guess, but, I mean, into the grass, and then just he's focused so much on the runner. He's just trying to do too much. Uh, Again, it looks mm-hmm. like yeah, Hunter Renfro, Marlins. Uh, this is just... Look where oh. that throw is, right off the bag. I mean, and this is like Hunter Renfro's not the fastest guy, so I mean, how look, do you, you had all do so? You bad had at all day. To throw. You had all day to throw. You could even stepped up more to get close. You know, gotten closer mm-hmm. if you want, but nope. Side arms way off the bag. Garrett Cooper gets pulled off, and then another thing when he is uh, throwing sidearm, he's missing a uh, arm side, his arm side to a righty. So that means that, like, it's definitely something he can pro- improve over the off season and try to just pull the ball a bit more on his sidearm plays. So then he hits it more in the chest and less missing glove side. I mean, arm side, not glove side. Um, yeah. So that's one thing. Another thing is 
why are you sidearming there? I don't care like, either. if you're going to sidearm, at least, like, oh, my God, at least, like, <laughs> toss it. And don't try to, like, muscle it as hard as you can with a sidearm because there's just no don't need for that. Poor, don't throw your poor first baseman off the bag. I mean, look, we got another angle right here. Yeah. Alcantara tries to get it. I mean, it's not like he interfered with it. So, boom. So I like to see him tuck it to make sure he has full security. That's another issue with him we'll get to, especially mm-hmm. at shortstop. Uh, but right here, spin off the bag. Spins, drops it. I mean, watch him right here. Here, where is it? Look, so fields the ball. Look so how that's open where he his fields glove. it. If you can see, his glove is pretty open still. You have I can't really see right. his glove. Yeah. You can't see too well. You can see a lot of white right there, though, and it's in the palm of his glove. I mean, you have a free hand right here. You want to, you know, tuck it in, make sure it's secure. But nope, drop it. And then Conforto's, you know, decent fast. He's pretty deep. And then, I mean, he probably wasn't going to get him anyways. I mean, if it was a good throw. I mean, if it was more in this area, you might have a shot. But, I mean, really wide base, too. I mean, he doesn't step into the throw at all. Um, And then just the worst part is just the accuracy. See, throw him right off the bag. I mean, it looks like he's throwing off his back foot almost. I mean, oh, yeah, practically. That's the problem with dropping it because he had to, you know, rush that throw in which he kind of just did throw completely off his back foot. You can see that front foot swing all the way right. to the side as he looks up. That's something you just got to do if you got to get a throw off super quickly, which will minimize arm strength, obviously. So that's just why you never want to be put in that situation. So that's why you don't drop the ball. <laughs> exactly. So, um, all right. Yeah. So he can also play shortstop, Stop and we got a we got a few we got a few decent plays here at shortstop. So, oh, am I up? Yep. All right. So, a few decent plays here at shortstop. So, with the Blue Jays against the Yankees. Oh, Tyro another, again. Tyro Estrada. Yep. Seventy-one. So, nice play. Charges it. Doesn't try to bare hand too, which if it's Jonathan VR too, he does everything to look cool. Um, doesn't bare hand it. Actually has fielding <laughs> discipline. Nice transfer. And then throws on the run. Absolute strike. Pretty decent throw. I mean, it didn't hit the dirt. So nice throw. And boom. Look, it's close, but mm. strike. Got him. Good good play right there. And, you know, there's oh, less to talk about on the Tyro bad. didn't have a good stretch. Last yeah, stretch. Oh really? What was he a shortstop? Right? You could have been in that out if he had a better if he had a better last stretch. Yep, shortstop, yeah, second base, utility. Score. And and then you got the score right here. This is probably why he's mad. But um, uh, Booney, your boy. Oh yeah, I did there. not watch this game after that. He wants to take a look, but good play. All right. Oh, that was a nice pick. It. Yeah, nice pick by Rowdy here. Let me re- rewind. Boom. Super close, but he got him. All right. Now he's back on the Marlins against Travis Darno. I mean, it's just like. Oh, okay. That's good. I mean, within his rotate. I mean, he uses his like his momentum to, to get a good throw. I mean, th- these oh, are yeah, also his textbook issues, throwing trying look, like mechanics. Trying to, trying to look cool. I mean, he, a lot of his issues are trying to look cool, but I mean, it worked for him this time. So like, he's a hot and cold fielder, but. Mm. I mean, good play right there. Nice turn. All right, right here. Against the Red Sox. Back on the Blue Jays. Nothing special here, but I like to see a guy use two hands because a lot of guys just drop it, you know, one-handed. Ravi Cano, you know, he's going to hit it hard because of the roids he's on. Um, I mean, he didn't make the play, but look <laughs> at this range right here. I mean, it's Robinson Cano, so it's like a tortoise on the bases. But, I mean, look at this range because, you know, they're on a sh- they're shifting. Boom, nice range right here. I mean, obviously, he didn't make the play, but, I mean, he stopped the double. I mean, I don't know how how deep the left fielder's playing, but you know, you was that ball hit play, hard? I'll take a look. Not crazy hard, but I mean, anything amazing, but not awful. It's but a I mean, sexy throw. he obviously doesn't. Make the, yeah, he obviously doesn't make the play, but that just shows you he's got good range. All right, you thought you thought his bad second baseman tape yeah, was he bad. He cut it oh. off perfectly too. Wait till you get to the shortstop. Oh no! His shortstop tape. Uh, and there's also his uh, oh, one of his no. 
really bad error you guys might have seen. I have one play of him in center field, too, because people say he can play the outfield. All right, so right here, J.D. Martinez. Uh, he's on the Blue Jays here. I mean, and then... Oh! Right off the <laughs> Vladdy, right? Vladdy really, he bails him out, makes a great play. I mean, look, Stop. you had all day to throw. No, dude, said, dude, go go to where he's throwing. Go to where the go to where the ball is releasing from his hand. Like when to stop? Uh, right as he it the ball leaves his hand. Look at where uh look at where his glove is. When you throw a ball for accuracy, you either want to step like far and have a really solid base, which he does not really have. That it he kind of looks. Actually, never mind. I take that back. No, his base is fine. It's not necessarily pointed directly at the target, which is okay. I mean, you don't necessarily need that when you're a professional athlete. But his glove flies open. Now, this is something that the shortstop on the Brighton team does. And anytime he ever throws a ball, I think he's going to throw it, like, in the dirt. And he oh, does God. throw it in the dirt quite often. Be- <laughs> what? Do you like hold your breath when it happens? <laughs> like, uh oh, he's throwing. Like, whenever Glaber oh, Torres. Oh my God, yeah. Like it's but nice play by Vladdy. Yeah, nice swipe because, tag. Uh, Bails him out. You got to bring your glove <laughs> into your shoulder to stop yourself from flying open and releasing the ball at a terrible time, which is exactly what happened there. And that is just. Oh, DJ. Yeah, cool, man. Hello. I didn't know that. So. See, Ben, Ben's the guy who gets technical. You know, he's the baseball guy. I'm the fan. So, you know, I know what I know. He knows a lot more, though. But I, I'm, good at, I'm good at being negative about baseball players. <laughs> I'm good at stuff. I'm, I'm a Mets fan, so I'm good at, at knowing. I'm, I'm good at spotting not talent. I'm good at, you know, knowing what someone does. I mean. I oh, mean, he rushed that. Baseball, he could have done a better job to pick this. But, I mean, look how how far extended this poor first baseman it look at his leg oh wait, oh. Ah, wait. sorry people are getting dizzy with me you know going <laughs> but i mean <laughs> and look he had all day to throw i mean i it's nice to see him step in his throat but can you explain what he's doing here why is it why he looks like he's pivoting right when he throws look at his body boom um it's like a pivot pivoting. way at the end, like a late pivot is actually kind of good for uh velocity. That's what pitchers do. They like pivot off their uh, pelvis at the last possible second and keep their shoulder closed. The thing that I was noticing is that he kind of looks like he was falling over himself instead of with a natural crow hop. You kind of tend to fall back on your back leg more, your back foot for a more stable and powerful base. He looks like he's throwing off his front foot, which just never works and could explain why he spikes it into the dirt. That would be my synopsis. Um, It just, he definitely rushed it. I don't know like why you would need, you could have definitely taken another step. DJ is not fast and he never really sprints. So um, yeah. that's just it's like, really cool sloppy trying to look cool i guess it's it's hard that's hard oh, to watch he's to look cool here watch this one all right <laughs> oh, it's not this one. it's not this one's bad but the one where he's trying to look cool i mean look where if you could see look where the hop is he just misses it completely hits him in the wrist boom bye bye there's really not much to say here it's just bad job doesn't read the hop and then mm-hmm. uh whoops oh, i gotta stop rewinding but I mean, it's pretty hard, but, I mean, that's a routine play if I've ever seen one. So, you know, yeah. hopefully he's not doing it with the Mets. Uh, next play. Uh, <laughs> uh, we can see this angle, too. I mean, oh. it's just excusable. This one is just infuriating. Back with the Marlins against the Blue Jays. All this tape is either on the Marlins against the Blue Jays or on the Blue Jays against the Marlins. I just realized that. Boom. Try, try oh, my God. It. I mean, that just, it's the most hobby by it. That's all I can describe it. He's trying to be hobby bias. I mean, throw on the run. I mean, he's charging it. Field the ball and then freaking who's make the, the throw. Don't just run, 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 run. Try to who's look at, cool. Who was who's at the plate? 
Uh, Boba Shat. Boba Shat. Uh, okay, that explains it. Yep, he's just trying to get that throw off as quickly as possible. He knows Bo's got wheels. He also knows that uh, that chopper was hit very slowly. Um, obviously, I mean, when you're trying to make that play, where does he... Uh, okay, so it's like right above the dirt. I thought it was... Wait, is that where he fields it? Right here. Oh, shit, he only so got ball, that it's... far? Seriously? And then just... The ball just flies what out of his glove. What the hell? I mean, just the ball security there isn't good. At all. all right, yeah, that's a transfer. Th- that's a transfer right there. That, that, that screams JD Davis. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Center field. Just watch this. This I could I could talk about how bad this is for days. I mean, first of all. All right, let's go back. Let's go back now. All right. First of all, situation is important. Runner on first, two outs. Runners going. I mean, you know, obviously. Runner goes five one mm. the ball game. So uh, first of all, you want to, you could get under it better than this. That's not my biggest issue. Can we Look watch where you catch run it, right here. Yeah. <laughs> is he is his uh, glove tucked in, or is he is his glove like up here as he's running, or like I mean, it's you know, it's is he low. holding it out? I can't really tell. No, it's it's pretty low. Okay, so I mean it's. Is it like tucked into his like armpit though? Uh no, it's low. If you watch him run, it's it's like is he like, so he's like holding it out in front of him. I mean, he's That's just running like regularly on his hand, yeah. But here's All my right. biggest All issue right. with this. My biggest look where he catches it. He catches it's on it on the palm of your glove. On the palm. And so, it's not above drop. his head, too. It's like he's catching it with a super weird, awkward angle with his uh, elbow and shoulder. You're I mean, always told like to catch he's... things, like, up above your head. It looks like he's flipping. <laughs> it looks like he's just trying to make it look I mean, routine. Yeah. yeah, he's trying to look He looks like he's cool. scared he's trying of the to be ball. smooth. Here's the worst part. It, look, he flinches. Huh. Look. Boom. Oh, oh, no. All right, here's the worst part. So runner goes two outs. Runner goes. Yeah, I think you could do runner a better throw than you that. Oh my god! Yeah, first of all, try to hold the freaking runner. And here's the worst part. You want to see the worst part? You want to know, look? Look mm-hmm. who's at the plate. First of all, Jay Bruce. This guy's freaking tortoise at uh, over there. So you yep. even if you you the runner scores, freaking just hit the cutoff and try to get the try to get the double. I mean, try to get the out on second. But nope, just airmails it, mm. sidearms it. I mean, it's, it's just it's it's terrible, man. I mean, what the he doesn't hell crow hop play, either. But... He just like his his feet were almost together, and he tried to throw it. Like you're not gonna get any strength on that kind of throw. Um, yeah, 